The next Spotlight Terror Raid event featuring Delibird is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. The latest Terror Raid event is based all around Delibird and is running over this coming weekend over the holiday period. So without further ado, let's hop over to Cerebi and take a look at all of the details for this particular event. So the event itself will be running from December the 23rd as of recording this video until December the 25th from Friday to Sunday. Um, you're going to be able to keep this in your game if you don't go online after this event ends. You'll be able to keep this until you do next go online to so bear that and mind the event dens themselves will be ranging from one star deli bird raids right up to five star deli bird raids so depending where you are in your playthrough uh, depending on the gym badges you've got on your progress through your story modes in the games this will dictate what star rating you will have access to so if you've got access already to five star raids you finish the games and you've got six star raids you're going to have access to three four and five star deli bird terror raids if you haven't complete the game yet and you've only got a set number low number of gym badges then you're only going to have access to the one two and possibly three star terror raids so these raids don't look like they're shiny locks so there is a chance that you can get the deli bird in its shiny form so that's something to think about although it will be full odds so one in 4096 if you do get it you're very lucky and it is a very nice holiday gift uh, the terror type for all of these will be random so you'll be able to identify them like you identify the other terror raid spotlight dens in the map area where they do have that kind of white glowing aura around them but their terror types can be completely random throughout the map the one and two star raids will have the standard ability where the three to five star raids will have the chance to have the hidden ability for deli bird as well they're all going to have the move present ice punch swift and quick attack are the moves predominantly on the one and two star raids and then you're going to get the three star raids with present ice punch swift and drill peck four star raids are going to have present ice punch swift and icy wind and then you're going to get the five star raids with the more fleshed out move sets with present blizzard swift air slash and the additional move of icy wind and that's going to be for both five star terror raids so the item drops even for the one star and two star raids are pretty good you're going to get a mix of candies so small and medium candies are what you're going to get you're going to get the materials for deli bird as well and a bunch of berries stardust and feathers you do get higher value items when you go into the three star raids you're going to get larger candies and medium candies with the added bonus of terror shards as well as additional candies and the berries nuggets and red shards as well as those feathers at four star raids you're going to get additional candies you're going to get pretty much the more the similar things as the three star raids but you're going to get a few additional items here than you would have got and the larger candies which aren't available in any of their last star rating den then we get into the five star raids and this is where the item drops really get very interesting so you're going to get a mixture of different terror shards for different terror types when you go into these dens which is really interesting so you can see you're going to be guaranteed three large candy two XL candies then you're going to get the materials for the deli bird itself and then you can see you're going to get two terror shards of the current type you're going to get five terror shards of different types and as you saw from the terror red that we did we didn't get grass water and fire we did get a variety of different types but we did end up getting five of each one you get additional candies you've got the chance to get a rare candy in here as well as ev reducing berries red shard pearl string nuggets and then nature mints as well you're going to be able to have the chance to get pp ups as well as bottle caps more terror shard drops uh, with a percentage and ability capsules as well in the five star terror raids which is really nice and i would assume for the terror shards that you're going to get the additional ones that you're going to get in each den so it looks like for the five star raids you're going to get three additional terror shards and you get five of each of those three additional terror shards that you are going to get as well as the same type terror shards that you will get for the deli bird den whatever type it is that you've just defeated so you're going to get a whole bunch of terror shards from these five star raid dens which is absolutely incredible as well as all the xl candies as well and the added bonus of getting ability capsules bottle caps and a bunch of high value items so these are very good dens just to take part in. And I really feel like these dens are not going to be difficult. Deli Bird is not a strong Pokemon. Its base stat total is extremely low. If we look at it down here, I think it's in the 300s, is it? Yeah, 330 base stat total. So 
even at level 75, as long as you've got a level 100 raid mon ready to go, you're going to be able to take this down, no trouble at all, even if you are weak to some of its attacks because it's just not going to be hitting hard enough. So if you've got Pokemon like Annihilate and things that we've covered on the channel before, you should be pretty safe um, going up against these Deli Birds and making quick work of them. But like I say, the event itself runs from December the 23rd to December the 25th, so you've got a little bit of time to take advantage of this one and make sure that you do get a lot of these amazing and item drops while the event is running so once you're in your game you want to come to the poker portal and like with the other raid events you want to come down to mystery gifts and then come down to check poker portal news that's one minute past so i'm hoping that the updates are live now they should be they should be hopefully okay two minutes past but well, that is all of the dens updated now so if you come onto your map you should be able to identify the terror raid event spotlight dens they will look like this so a regular den will have no kind of aura around it when you're hovering on the map this is the spotlight den that you can come to and we've got one quite close so we'll head over to it now and we'll take a look at this one okay let's have a look at this one it's a fairy type and it is a five star raid den and you can see the typing here in the corner my camera is just over it there so it is a psychic type one i'm gonna bring annihilate it should be more than enough so in comparison to other five star raids it's not really gonna be anything that you need to worry about too much it's not gonna be too difficult so we'll bulk up a couple of times i'm more interested to see what the item drops are like for this event in particular Okay, so we've done two bulk ups, one Rage Fist now. We've been hit twice, so the base power of that's boosted. This should be a... maybe not take it down, but it is. It takes it down. This is what I mean. You're not really going to have any trouble against Deli Bird. Uh, we are using a super effective attack, and we have boosted up a couple of times, but not really. it's not really that difficult, right? So uh, we will catch it, though, because it is an event Pokemon, so it's worth catching while the event's going on. And then we'll be able to have a look at these juicy rewards and see what we get. So in the preview for this event, it did mention item drops, specifically other terror shards as well that we're going to get because this is obviously running over the Christmas period. Um, so you would imagine we'll get some extra drops from Deli Bird. And Deli Bird always one of those Pokemon that does give extra drops anyway. So, wow. Okay. Three large candy two XL candies, we get some Deli Bird parcels, and ooh, man, that is a lot of Terra Shards. So we get four Psychic Terra Shards, we get five Ice Terra Shards, five Poison, five Dragon, we get an Adam and Mint PP up, some more candies, Adam and Mint, more Psychic Shards, and a Health Feather. So these raid drops are incredible. These are really good for item drops insane item drops there so um yeah this is going to be an amazing event just to take part in and just be able to farm all of these really difficult to get items because terror shards are something that aren't too difficult to get but they are time consuming to get because you've got to complete terror aids to get them and you pretty much want to be maximizing your time when you're doing it by going for the higher star rated terror raids which does take a bit longer all you would do to farm these is just come and take a look on your map find the next spotlight terror raid visit it beat the deli bird get the items and then move on to the next one if you get to the stage on your map where you don't have any spotlight terror raids left then you can use the date skip glitch to change your terror raid dens or just respawn new ones for yourself so what you can do is here as you see just hit your home menu then come down to your system settings down to system down to date and time come to date and time and then turn your you don't need to skip your day forward there's a new method to this where you can just move a minute back so you would just take a minute off click ok and then come back into your game and you will see all the dens do change around the area so that one's gone and we've got a bunch of new ones as well and when you come back onto this screen you should get the messages saying that outbreaks have changed and that's a good indicator that the dens have moved around as well so that is a way for you if you have run out of them if you are farming these items and you've literally went and done all of the dens in and around the area where you are then you can use this method to just respawn a bunch of new ones and then keep grinding this event for as long as you want and remember as well that you also don't need to get rid of this den anytime soon if you want to just keep it for a while and keep farming these items until you feel like you've got more than enough items and then all you need to do is not go online so as soon as you go online after this event ends on sunday the 25th 
then you will lose all the dens. Your dens will update and the event will end. But if you stay in offline mode, these dens will stick around for as long as you want them to until you do go online. So these event dens are absolutely amazing for the drops alone. The Pokemon are actually really easy to beat. Even the five star ones are not difficult to beat at all. So you're going to have a really easy time doing these solo or even online with friends. I hope you really enjoy this event and make the most of it when you are able to collect such good items item drops at really such a low cost as well because it's going to be so quick to go through all of these dens the terrorids themselves aren't going to be difficult to beat even those higher rated ones as well hope you found today's video useful and all the information in it if you have please drop a like if you're new to the channel do subscribe so you don't miss any more of these updates in the future for pokemon scarlet and violet have a great christmas if you are celebrating over this weekend and i will see you in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye